Welcome back. This video we're going to be talking about inheriting methods. It should be pretty simple and works a lot just like properties. So we have this user class, which is kind of like the, the main class. And then we have some subclasses. In this case, we only have student, but we can go into user and add a little bit of something in here. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so let's create a method inside of the class. We'll say public void and we'll just call this hello to console. And all this is gonna do is it's gonna console right line and say a little message. Hi, my name is plus full name. Now the crazy thing is the student doesn't have any properties for first name, last name, no methods defined in the class, but literally everything comes from the user. We can use this inside of our code very simply. All we have to do is say me dot hello to console and it should work just nice. So I'll get rid of that other right line and run this. And it says, hi, my name is Jingle. Now check this out. What I wanna do is I actually want to change this method inside of the student class. So what we can do is we can say public override and then we have these options here. And notice that that method is not in here. What if I wanna override to make a different implementation for this method? Well, we can go back to our user class and all we have to do is add the virtual keyword here. I think you can also put it after public if you prefer to put the public at the beginning. All right, now check this out. When we say override, we get that option, hello to console, and we can make a new version or we can just call base, which will just do the same exact thing. We can customize the message now. Hi, I'm a student. My name is, and you know students are obnoxious, so we can just say full name dot to upper. And then this needs outputted, so we'll just say console.writeline, like so, and .NET run. Check this out, it's gonna get the new one right there. So we could probably add a space there. So we can basically create the defaults that any inherited. So we can basically use the user class as the defaults and then override anything we need in the subclasses. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you then.